Welcome back to my channel. How are you? If it's your first time here, my name's Gary. Welcome, aka The Plastic Boy. If you don't know, get to know, period. Um, today I thought I'd do kind of like an autumn for look. We're going into fall. This is what's popping off now. It's cold out. We can't be, we can't be hoes anymore. We have to, we have to bring it in, you know. The pussy talk is over there. Now we're trying to like be in with Bay. We're trying to get Birkins. We're trying to get home delivery. So I'm going to do a fall look for you today. So if you want to see what I got going on, keep on watching poo. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's rare that I start uh, like a video without anything on. So um, I'm gonna do brows. Obviously I was watching Shanine. It's so wicked, I was saying her name wrong. And she was actually talking about trends of, when am I gonna go in with the um, Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. It looks like this. And then this pops on the skin like that. And really blend it out. This is such a nice primer. Like it just gives you that really nice kind of like hydrated finish, but it also kind of gives you like kind of like a mini soft focus, which I love. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, Shanine was talking about all these trends that were going to be here for like fall and stuff, and all these um like trends that were going to be here for winter. And some of them I was like, oh okay, I could see that. But some of them she actually did a look with like pink lashes, which I actually really really liked, which I never thought I would like the whole coded lashes look. So I'm gonna do my brows. I think I'm gonna use the benefit. Precisely my brow in number six. And uh, she says structure brows are gonna come back in and fair, um, I was gonna say fairly enough. Anyways. Funny enough, I've been seeing a lot of people have been doing a strong brow and obviously I like to do my brows quite fluffy. So I'm actually gonna try and do them. I actually used to do a strong brow before. So I'm gonna do that today and then we can get to popping. Okay, so the brows are on. Wow, I haven't done a, sh a brow like this for, actually, it's kind of similar to a brow shape, but I think it's just a bit, it's not blocky, but it's just a bit more structured, which I'm not mad at. I think it's kind of really nice. Like, I think it kind of suits me. Like, you know, like it's not for everyone. So, have I primed? Yeah, I primed. <laughs> I'm gonna use some of this Live Tinted Corrector, which is in the shade Found. Are you guys ready for four? I know it's Halloween season, but guys, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a Halloween look for my channel, which I probably will, but I'm just not the most Halloween-y person. Like, at home, like, we didn't really, like, every time I was asked to go trick-or-treating, my mom would be, like, side at me, like, why do you wanna go trick-or-treating? Like, in our household, it wasn't kind of like a thing. Like, you know, kids were getting kidnapped, you know. It's just not a thing like my family did or my nan approved of. Like, it was just like, she'd always be like, why are you going to other people's houses to ask for sweets for? Like, you can buy your own. Doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity. Like, I think it's, mm, I'm not sure. I think it's like a, a very black thing. Like, obviously, around my era, we didn't see many, many kids doing trick or treating, but obviously now it's probably changed because obviously, I feel like who's really trick or treating this year? Marona around, child. But I do feel like it's going to be good for kids and stuff obviously that are much younger but for me I don't know I might do some Halloween looks but I'm just really not inspired by any I need to put my headband on I'm just not really inspired by any kind of Halloween looks whatsoever like I don't know it's just not my kind of vibe but I have got a few ideas that I want to do but not even just Halloween ideas like ideas for Black History Month because it's Black History Month let's just get that on check and that's on period poo Period. Okay, so for foundation, I'm not sure what to go with, but all I know is I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. Incredible. Snatchery. I'm just gonna like use this to like kind of prep my face. So nice. This will keep your makeup on. This will set your face like no other. Also for a funeral, for a divorce, for a fight. So I'm in the, I'm in the, my favorite foundation at the moment are the um, two four, two four, <laughs> <laughs> Too Faced, Born This Way, Spice Rum and Revolution in F15. I feel like the Too Faced just because I'm using a mixture of bougie and high end. Some new products, some not. And then I'm gonna use like maybe two pumps of this. Where is my, uh, I can never find my brushes. This is this is what kind of annoys me. Let me use this Smashbox. Um, this is a sheer foundation brush. This color though, this foundation. If you guys watch my, I'm trying to think when this will go out. So this will probably go out next Wednesday. So by the time you watch this, I'll probably be in Turkey, guys, getting my teeth done. This foundation, if you watch my, this 
what last Wednesday's video I actually did a wear test with this and it, it's just such a nice foundation Too Faced like look at that match like it's so nice like Too Faced you really really did that because this foundation will have you thinking you're a whole new bitch so I'm not gonna go with the KKW concealer I haven't used this concealer for so long and because the tone is kind of like orangey but it's very sheer like this concealer is actually really really nice but I always forget I have it because it was always lost in the back of my drawer so I'm gonna use that and then I actually might go in with the same foundation brush just I actually didn't use that much foundation which the foundation is like, I would say it's like a medium to full. I actually really like it because of the coverage, but I'm just gonna pat that concealer on. Have you, are you guys trick or treating? Do you, do you guys trick or treat? Like, I know a lot of you guys probably have a particular age and probably have kids or whatever, but are you guys, actually, we can't trick or treat because of Rona, but are you guys celebrating Halloween? That's what I mean, because here we have a 10 p.m. curfew. So, so imagine now if you wanna like go, there's not, Actually, there are club nights on, but they start from five o'clock in the afternoon, well, five o'clock in the evening till 10. Who's got, actually, come into the club. Actually, it kind of helps because you can get drunk in the day and then be home for 10. But at the same time, like, guy, you know some of these girls aren't social distancing. So it's just one of those. Okay, so I'm sleeping so bad at the moment. A lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram saying, Gary, you need to sleep more. It's just, I'm not sure if it's because, someone actually said there's something going on with the moon, but... I'm just sleeping so shit, guys. I'm gonna go in with the Jouer Essential Soft Matte Concealer. This concealer is so, so bomb. This isn't a shade coffee because I'm not looking to go super, super bright with this. I'm just gonna put some there because I'm super tired. Because obviously, as I said before, when I set my concealer, it just goes a bit too bright. But as I was saying, while I'm away, obviously this Friday, there's not gonna be a sip and slay. And I feel like, when I pre-record them, especially if it's like a few days before, like, cause I go on the Tuesday while you'll see this, the, new, the news just isn't that fresh. So I'm gonna start an Ask Gary video. So I'll probably ask you guys to send me some questions by the week before so you guys can really like, you know, just enjoy the video of me answering dilemmas. It's kind of like what I would do in Sip and Slay, but I, I guess just a, a dedicated video. And I did say I wanted to add this into certain weeks on my video maybe once a month twice a month but i'm gonna see how it goes but i actually really like sip and slay but i do need to try and change up the concept a bit because it's just me just talking to the camera let me guys know if you still like that setup but i'd love to have guests but it's so hard you know what i mean i could obviously have guests on skype but oh no oh no boo. i'm using this smashbox blurring concealer brush guys smashbox brushes very very slept on like their brushes are incredible but this brush is just it's firm but it doesn't feel like too like rough it doesn't scratch my skin it's just so so pretty especially for just getting into those nook and crannies i like this concealer as well because it dries down fast but not like you're uncontrollably fast like i have to like scatter and run to blend it you know, like it's just like <laughs> this color is really nice as well i need to reopen some of these more concealers because I need to get a few more darker shades. Okay, so I'm actually gonna try and you switch up a bit. I'm gonna go in with this RCMA palette, and this is the Shinto series favorite palette. I'm gonna mix these two, and just try and just add a bit of brightness where I need it. I'm trying to not use too much concealer, but I've actually seen someone use this the other day, and I was like, wait a minute, did I buy that? And this is what happens with me when I get makeup. Like, I just forget. Can I have it because I have so much. I was gonna say thank you to everyone that purchased a charity bag. It went really well. I've literally, I'm literally doing them well as we speak. I've just gotta ship them tomorrow. But you should all should have got um UPS emails just to give you the tracking code and stuff. So thank you so much, guys. It really means a lot. A product I have not used for ages. The Huda Beauty Tantor, and this is in the shade tan. Oh, oh my, my god. god! I actually seen someone using this again. I was like, wait. I used to use that all the flipping time. I'm gonna go in with a Smish, Smish, Smith 124. Like, oh my God. You guys know, obviously, the um, Danessa Myrick's Power Bronzer is my jam. But this, this is just so nice. They're very, very similar, but this is a bit more cool tone. It's not cool tone. This is still like bronzer ish, but this is like very contour and not bronzer for me. But this is just so 
Oh, child, let me use a closer mirror because I'm going to make a massive mess of everything. But the only thing is, this looks like it, it goes on quite thick, but it actually blends out. Guys, do you know I spoke about this so much? I commented to do the eyes. I was basically going to use another palette for my eyes, but I actually found a palette. Where I was like, oh my God, I haven't used this. So, you guys, I've got new bronzers, new blushes, new lipstick, new liquid eyeshadow. Oh my God, I forgot to use the Milani primer. Oh no. Okay, I said that under eyes, I'm gonna use the La Mer in, oh my God, this powder's actually broke. This is in Sunrise. This is such a pretty powder. So I'm just gonna take some like that. It's quite bright. This is like a proper golden yellow powder. Again, La Mer. We're doing so well in the foundation. We're doing so well, but we just need some, we just need extension in general, but I do love their skincare. I know La Mer obviously, extended their foundation what's that foundation called the skin fluid that foundation is actually so nice i haven't used that for ages as well that would actually be a really good winter foundation it's like it's, it's so hard to transition to makeup because for winter you would normally wear something a bit more moisturizing but because we're wearing masks no one we just don't have time for dewy bases like i don't mind a dewy base if i'm like going like if I'm driving somewhere and I know I don't have to like wear a mask like driving but being in a cab and being sweaty as it is it's just really really not the one guys you know so I'm gonna set my face I actually love this powder guys Shiseido you guys know I love the Seacross Skin Foundation I actually have a powder and this isn't actually the same shade that I use in the foundation so I'm actually gonna just set that I actually love this part and the packaging perfect for putting in a bag just perfect so i'm gonna set everything before i go on with actually should i do the eyes first or the bronzer actually i might do i'm gonna do the eyes first and we'll do the bronzer after okay so for the eyes we're using a really exciting i actually like the look of the palette but i don't know Ooh, okay so it's the morphe madison beer palette is that gonna is that gonna focus camera do not mess with me i will box you down Listen, I don't have to box this camera up, you know. You done lost your damn man. So this is it here. Like, it's just, let me show you inside how pretty it is. So pretty. Like, this just, just looks like autumn in a blood clot palette. But again, Madison, B child, I, I think she's a singer. She's a model, she's a socialite. I actually seen her once. I, did, I don't even know who she, I didn't even know who she was because um, this was the first time me being in LA. We was in Fairfax for the market and someone was like, oh my God, that's Madison Beer. I was like, who? Who? And I seen her, I was like, I don't know who this girl is. Anyway, but any, Morphe's done a collaboration with her. She's very pretty. You know, she's very done. Very done, very pretty, but she's very, she's snatched. We love a snatch, bitch. Anyway, um, this is kind of like a cool tone, warm tone palette. So I think I'm gonna go in with this shade. There's no shade name, it comes with one of these sheets. But girl, if you, if you get the palette, sure, I'm gonna go with that shade. So it's got a really nice mirror in it. So let's go, ooh, child. Okay, so next we're gonna take this mustardy color here. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is called either because I can't be asked to keep looking at the slip and then Okay Let's leave that color and let's just go back in with That color because that yellow is just a bit too cool for me It was basically just an eraser. So I'm gonna come in with this shade here This looks kind of like a bronzer actually and then let's see what this is saying They look at like the same shade. I like the shade though, but it's not that dog, but it's okay, it's better than the other one that we tried. We're just gonna bring that in. Mm, this palette's interesting, I think, because all the tones are quite similar. So it basically looks like I'm, it basically looks like the eye I always do with like a bronzer, but I'm gonna make it a tiny bit deeper because we're gonna be putting a liquid shadow on. This eye is so warm, like wow, this is such a warm tone palette. It's a mixture of warm and cool, though, so, like. There's like this khaki green in there, which is so flipping cool. Can you see it? Okay, let's go in with this brown because, okay, let's see what this does. Cause I need some depth, bitch. Okay, so uh, I like the eyes. I think I was just playing around. I added a bit of that black as well. This black here, it's actually really, really black. So look at this. This is a weapon of mass destruction. This is from Le Bouton, Christian Le Bouton. And this is in the shade T. 
Tip L Lowell. I'm not even gonna say the name, but I haven't even swatched this. Let me swatch it. Ooh. So this is a is it let me just check this is a liquid eyeshadow. Carnelan 6110. So I just wanted to check this was a liquid eyeshadow because Imagine if it was like a, a liquid lipstick and then it ends up going funny in my eye because I just recovered my eye infection. So let's try this out. Okay, I wonder how fast it dries. So this is beautiful. Wow. It's very smooth as well. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on the eye. Really, really pretty. I think it suits the whole eye as well. Just a bit of like, you know, something, something. So guys, I'm going to do a liner. I'm going to do it off camera because it's a jam plus. <laughs> the eyes already took long enough it is, but I really like the eyes. I think I'm gonna do like a brown liner just to make it not so dramatic. So obviously, I'm so sorry. I think it's still sold out, but I think we can get it on Sephora though. This is the Melt Cosmetics liner in Spliff. I'm not sure why Beauty Bay hasn't restocked it. I'm not sure why Melt isn't even on Cult Beauty or anywhere. It's just so crazy, but charm. Um, I'll have to use it because this is fire. Yeah. So what's going on? So if you can hear my friend, it's so, so hot. Um, I actually used my own lashes, my eye love, my collab in Bad and Bougie. I get so many questions on these, but you can only get them in the UK. I'm so, so, guys, if I could transfer loads of them to you guys in the US, I would. I did add some of them to my um, charity bag. So I did say if you bought the £100 one, I, I would add my own lashes into there. So to you guys, you're going to get some. So I'm going to add some of the Huda Beauty Kunafa powder in Kunafa. I haven't used this powder for ages. I'm using it with a Juno sponge. Ooh, this is why I don't do my concealer that bright because it can go from looking hella cute to hella crazy real quick. I always just leave this step last because sometimes if I do it first, it can look a bit crazy. I think, oh, these lashes look so good with the look. And because they kind of like wing out on the ends, it's kind of really good if you want that really kind of winged out eye. The only thing with brown liner sometimes I find is that sometimes it isn't dark enough for my lash line. Like spliff is nice. I, th I would say like, cause I'm a bit tan still, if you're gonna, if you, were, if you were dark, I'm not sure if it would show up. Like if you guys know where to get a really super dark brown from, definitely let me know, but this hood up beauty Cronova powder oh god i love it so much oh should i use the holly boom one oh i have to use that in another tutorial but yeah okay so guys look at this stack of new beauty bray bronzes and blushes and there's actually more i think there's 10 in each i could be wrong and this isn't sponsored they actually sent me them which i was really surprised because beauty bay don't send me that much stuff even though i wanted to keep the nikki tutorials palette child that shit sold out and like okay and whatever okay it's done i'm over it so they released three bronzers three deep tone bronzers and i've got two blushes and a highlight i just picked up the ones that i knew are going to suit our skin tones i've got all of them so i might try and do a giveaway or something for lighter skin tone i'm not sure how i'll do it but charm anyway so we have uh, oak oak is a more cool tone bronzer we have chestnut which is more of a warm tone bronzer. This looks like the exact same color that I used on my eyes. And we have Button, which is a, the deepest shade, which that isn't that, let me swatch it. That's a darkest shade there, which in comparison to all the Morphe's and the Charlotte Tilbury's and the Revolutions, this is not that dark. So, oh, child, so I'm gonna try Chestnut looks a bit, I like a warm tone bronzer. So let's, let's go in with, Chestnut and Button. I'm gonna use a Morphe. These are quite dry. A Morphe E14. Ooh, I like this tone though. Really nice. It's like they're definitely not like you know how the Morphe ones and Shot Toby ones have a lot of pigment. These are a bit more sheer, but if you like to build up your bronzer, you will definitely like these because oh no, I really like this. This is this is a really really nice shade. I wouldn't say it's my favorite formula, but I definitely like the tone. But it's almost borderline a blush on me. But what do you guys think? Comment down below. Okay, to intensify, I'm gonna go with Button, the darkest shade. Which I'm really surprised Beauty Bay didn't do a dark. See these, they don't have a lot of. They're nice though. I feel like they're very different. I like the packaging, super slim. They're not heavy. Obviously, I think these are like six pound guys, so you can't really go wrong. I, I know I like them, I do like them. I think they're just different to what I'm used to. These are definitely more of a buildable formula. Ooh, I like this combo. So cute. I think I'll definitely take this away with me because, because like, they're just more thin, easy to pack. Obviously, you get, you get what you pay for guys. There's no mirror, so. That's the only downside, and they do feel cheap, but the formula is actually really, really bomb. I'm not sure what the hell I was recording then. Okay, <laughs> these are the blushes. I'm actually really, this blushes, 
bushels look very nice oh this is like i'm a hoe i'm a barbie kind of pink <laughs> And this is giving me Fool in the Wall from MAC. I actually really like this one. But I like this one. But this is kind of a different vibe. This is like, you know, I'm a city girl. I'm, you know, I'm a Barbie. Baby, it's very um, dream doll. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to go for this one, I think. I just want to see what it's giving. This is a very unique. It's called Merlot. Let's see. Oh, quite dark, actually. Wait there. Oh, my God. Wait, it looks a bit. This is a bit too dark wait this is nice though but the blushes are super pigmented but i kind of like what it's doing but it almost looks like a no this is a bit mad yeah it's a tiny bit too dark for me it would look amazing on someone i'm not really sure the tone's just really weird it's a bit purpley it's almost a bit bruisey but you can see it i'm gonna go a bit with that pink because that shade was nice it was giving me what i needed but the undertone's very it's giving me very domestic you know very domestic very, very fight, excuse me, very fight club, very bad girls club. But okay, let's just, oh, you, the blushes are so pigmented. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, uh, no. I put way too much blush on. I gotta share this out because this is not the kind of vibe we're going for. We look, oh, we don't look too clownish, but the blushes are pigmented. So for under eyes, I'm gonna take Pat McGrath and this is called Black Coffee. And we're gonna put this under, our lash line this is kind of a really dark brown i never really do too much of a dark um, lash line but i thought why not try something different because i always do something quite white and nude then i was taking the brown from the shadow powder and then i'm just diffusing this color this eyeliner dries super super fast super super fast it's beautiful though so very unique color it reminds me of a color that matt do it's it called oh i always forget matt do such so much amazing pencils like when i used to work there they had a, such a range of like eyeliners and i used to love i can't even what the eyeliners are called like oh, i used to know them off the back of my head but i'm not too sure what's the black one called that a powerpoint one a technical that's gonna really annoy me. Ooh, we're giving you smoke. Okay, so I've done the bottom lash line. Um, I'm gonna set my face using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless um, Setting Spray. Guys, honestly, this is probably one of the best setting sprays I've used since Urban Decay All Night. So this works. Like, it works phenomenally. So I'm not gonna do too much because I'm not going anywhere after this. It's like almost midnight. So, and I sprayed like 10 sprays. Okay, I'm actually gonna take my fan here. Ooh. So I've been filming for ages. I oh, like the way my face looks. I'm gonna add some beauty marks as well. So this is a, um, I should have added this before I set my face. This is by Beauty Bay, and this is called Trophy. Mm -hmm. Wonder why I called it Trophy. <laughs> Giving me very, ooh, very smooth, very Trophy Wi-Fi, but it's a bit more golden. I'm gonna take a Morphe brush to apply this. Does this look like Trophy Wife? I'm almost dribbled. Wait, this is actually so nice. It, um, it's definitely light trophy white, but it doesn't have as much glitter in it. But child, it's definitely like a yellow gold, but it blends into the skin really nicely. Okay, so lips time. So I've literally just added that highlight, set it a bit with the Morphe spray, added some beauty marks. I'm actually loving this full look. I'm gonna do a bit of a different lip. <laughs> not nude, not nude. Okay, I'm gonna use, I haven't used this liner for a time. This is the shade of BFFF. And yeah, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna just line. <sighs> Guys, the lip I'm using, you probably just got a glimpse of it. This is from Fenty and this is called Underground. Can we get any more for winter as it is? This is so gorgeous. I'm so annoyed. I actually recorded a video with this before I went to Mykonos, but I, I, like an idiot, I formatted my memory card and lost all the footage because I thought it was in a different memory card, but whatever. So I'm gonna apply some of this. So I would leave it like that. I think it looks really, really good, but I feel like we need a gloss. Okay, so this product is super bougie. My first time trying it, and I'm not saying you have to buy it, so I'm just using it in the video because, period. And it suits the look well, and this is from Christian Louboutin. Who's emailing me? How ghetto! Okay, this is in the shade. I don't even have a shade here. This is a shade, like, what in... The Mortal Kombat is going on. I hope this is a lip gloss. So it doesn't have a name. So, okay, so let's do this. Wow. Okay, 
okay so guys this is the finished look like what do you guys think of the makeup look like this it's the lip for me the lip is banging i'm trying to think of the name of this Louboutin shade it doesn't even say in here but it's so nice like i'll definitely try and get the name for you in the description bar down below um the foundation Too faced is probably one of my favorite foundations at the moment see it looks nice i really like the medicine beer palette but i think i can get other looks from different palettes much better and i really liked the Louboutin liquid shadow that was really really banging also um i really like the beauty bay bronzers and the blushes they look super super nice um i also like this brow i just think it's definitely different i feel like for this kind of look it definitely suits a strong brow um what else did i use that's it really um all the products i normally use in my um um videos anyway let me guys know if you're feeling this kind of i never wear this kind of lip and i feel like you know it's cute obviously giving you warm for tons period poop period bitch <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll just see you guys on uh, sunday i think no friday but ask gary because it will be while i'm away in turkey hope you guys are having a really good week drop me a message on instagram you know let me know you enjoyed this video please comment down below obviously the comments like subscribe helps the bitch out we're trying to you know move up and take a couple levels up there so i'll just see you in my next video love you bye